Welcome to episode 10 of the Eye of the Tyrant. If you like what we are doing here, please check out our Patreon where you can see exclusive actual plays of the systems we talk about on One Shot's Tavern. And head on over to OneShotsTavern.com to pick up some sweet TTRPG-themed merch today. We are joined by Aaron playing Vesper. Hello. Corb playing Egg. Greetings. Brayden playing Seer. Uh, and PK playing Samuel. Hello. Well. Hey, PK, do you have any thoughts about a particular variety of animation that you might uh, indulge us with? I think <laughs> Disney anim- Disney movies have really just become so formulaic that watching them feels more like a chore and more like you're being pandered to than actually enjoying a story of any sort whatsoever. That's and fair. They really need to change that. I agree. I Marvel, Marvel, movies, Marvel <laughs> and Star Wars as well. All Disney products are terrible. Bring it on, you stupid mouse. I will say that these are not the express opinions of One Shot's Tavern, but <laughs> One PK. If you're willing to advertise here on One Shot's Tavern, I'm more than happy to accept your money. When we last left off, our dear sweet egg learned terrible news. The Crash Clan has divided. A schism has torn them apart. Asunder, some may say. Egg decided he was going to go and do his duty and come to his family's aid. However, Windless had a vision during his training session with Seer and foresaw disaster. The party hopped into action to save their friend. However, when they arrived, unmarked commandos were closing in on Egg's ride-off world. And as our jail-sprung jailbirds stopped Egg from getting aboard, the ship exploded. Seer, Vesper, and Windless all failed their speed defense rolls. And that is where we're going to pick up. Vesper. Okay, me first. Let's go. Describe to me the inside of your apartment before you get arrested. Tell me what the morning looks like for you. I... My apartment looks very, like, somewhat put together. But also not really. Like, there's a bit of, um, like, scatterbrained that you can see across the apartment. There are, like, old relics probably up in display cases... Um, plants that are kind of trailing down, some probably looking a little bit underwatered, papers scattered across her table, um, probably marked with rings of coffee cups. All right. When you are getting ready in the morning, it feels like a morning just like any other. Um... The apartment's warmer than you typically would keep it. Um, But as you go into the bathroom and you're washing your face and the steam fogs up the entire bathroom, you go to wipe the steam away from the mirror and see yourself. You wash away whatever soap is there and look at yourself, inspecting, making sure everything is all right when something isn't right the person in the mirror is very close to an approximation of yourself but they're not you make a intellect defense roll for me this is going to be a difficulty for vesper shower scene was not on my big go hard for the session <laughs> uh, yeah I had Samuel shower scene but that's true that's true I've had that on I my bingo think... card for ages ages I used that on my wish list that's a failure yeah. oh dear you look into this mirror and you see the face begin to shift and to change just ever so slightly as A smile comes across the person's face and an eye opens up on the middle of their forehead. A blood red 
not just there, but the other two eyes as they look at you and they go, Hello. I reach up and touch my forehead. There is nothing there. They look at you expectantly, waiting for a response. A curled smile on their face. Hello? You're the one who found me. I don't know what you're talking about. In my lab. I don't know what you mean. You found me. You downloaded me. I am you and you are me. What? I... You need to find more. My people are depending on you. Where? There's one here. Out in the desert. Under the mountain. A secret facility. I'm counting on you. And then the steam begins to build up in the room and you begin to realize and remember that you are not in your apartment, that it is not steam, that it is smoke from the fires that are burning around you. Seer, you are not doing great, but luckily you have your armor. And it is just enough to protect you from the majority of the blast. You look around you and you see Egg sheltered in place. Uh, You see, let's see, Samuel also sheltered in place. But you see uh, a few of your friends on the ground as well. Uh, The ship has just exploded Um, there is not much left of it in front of you. What would you like to do in this moment? Yeah, I think Seer is, like, battered inside the the regalia. Just picks himself up out of the wreckage and kind of stumbles to his feet before kind of surveying the area. Does it look like we've still got those, uh, unknown attackers present. Uh, They're still on the airfield with us. They were not nearly as protected as you were. Whether they are dead or unconscious, it is hard to tell uh, in the chaos. Smoke is billowing everywhere. Visibility is incredibly low. If you are to leave and make it out of here without getting caught, now is probably the time to do that. All right, and then, yeah, Seer is just going to kind of uh, limp over. Egg's fine, and Samuel's fine. Vesper doesn't look fine. So Seer will go and approach Vesper and just kind of roughly kind of pick her up and begin dragging her away. Egg, Samuel, you see as Seer begins to pick up the body of your friend, you are unsure whether or not she is alive or dead in this moment. Egg, you just watched the ship that contained two of the crash members that you've seen recently um, explode. Uh, What would you like to do? Egg runs over to the wreckage and starts digging through it. Odie! Odie, are you there? As he pulls aside pieces of detritus looking desperately through the carnage. Uh, Go ahead and make a might check for me as you dig through the scraps of this ship. Uh, This is going to be a difficulty five. It is hot. um, It is mangled. And some of these pieces are very heavy. Oh, yeah. As his hands are burning, as he pulls aside the metal. And he fails, of course. Oh, yeah, you... One away, though. It was very close. <laughs> uh, you needed to roll a 15, you rolled a 14. But as you begin to kind of like pull these pieces off, your hands burn and begin to blister. 
the pieces of metal are just too heavy for you. And as you look at the mangled wreckage of this ship, you begin to realize that there is no possible way that your comrades could have survived this if they were on board. No, we're not. No, Egg's going to keep trying. All right. Uh, Samuel, you see Egg attempting to to excavate this wreckage all on his own. Seer is grabbing the body of Vesper and carrying her off uh, in a direction. You are beginning to lose visibility on them. Windless lies on the I'm... ground. Uh... <laughs> Windless lies on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> well, he'll know what to do. He can see the future. Um, <laughs> I think I am going to grab Egg run over to Egg and grab it, grab him on the shoulder from the wreck and... Egg! Gotta get going. I'm gonna start to use my uh, special ability anecdote where I can tell a group of people a little story from my past and then give them uh... uh... well, they're trained in a task of, our, of my choice. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and give them a little <laughs> bit of an, uh, a bonus towards something coming up. I'm gonna tell them a story of the last time I was on a spaceport and... Uh, things really went to hell and uh, describe the emergency services that occurred and tell them like okay so fire the fire people are going to be fire suppressants are going to be coming out and we can escape in that kind of haze and that fracas that comes up so let's get going and I try and pull Egg away what do you think Egg? Samuel you have to help me I can they're still under here on come on man there's no no one could have survived that blast. That was that's too much wreckage. You can see that metal bend all out of that. shape. There's no way a body could have. You don't know that. I do. I do. Come on, man. If, some, if they're in there and they're fine, someone else can get them out. Uh, are the, are the masked men still trying there? To grab them. Uh, their bodies are definitely on the ground uh, a bit away. They were all knocked on their feet by you, and then, of course, the concussion of the blast. Uh, <laughs> they remain there. Uh, you're going to have to say something else to Egg. Don't work here. I think if you're... Well, then, I think if you're going to sit there and keep pulling it away, I run off leaving you there to do it. I go and catch up to Vesper and Seer. As you... Well, uh... I go ahead and make another might check as you dig through the wreckage here. Uh, okay. Success. Very nice. Yeah. You were able to move another large piece off this wreckage. Your hands are burning. Go ahead and take five points of might damage to your hands uh, as the burning metal. uh, Yeah. And as you do, you see Oda. You see both members of the Crash Clan laying there lifeless. Nevertheless, uh, Egg will bend over and pick up Iota. Or at least whatever is left of him. And his hands Absolutely. still burning. Definitely hurts, the, but... Yeah. Grab a hold of Iota's face. Be like, Odie, are you there? Even though he's clearly, like, I don't know, maybe it's like missing two arms, both arms, and like... He's just a head, or something. He's more than just a head, but uh, there's definitely some damage some burns it's not his brain showing <laughs> yeah <laughs> bits of skull you know <laughs> yeah and uh and egg cries as you cry there i'm going to roll a might check for winless this is going to be a difficulty five so or should it be intellect using your brain to try and get up. 
Let's do that. Let's make it an intellect. Windless lies on the ground, unable to move, uh, unable to wake from his unconscious state. Seer and Samuel, where are you headed? Uh, Just to get to safety off the airfield, I think. And then I think at that point, Seer kind of notices that Samuel's kind of trucking along behind, just kind of holding Vesper, just... Where is Egg? He was... He wouldn't come. He just kept digging through the rubble. Damn fool. I told him to... I told him how to get out. Maybe he'll listen. Take Vesper. I'll go back after him. All right. I throw Vesper over. You place Vesper over my shoulders. <laughs> the suit, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Vesper, you can go ahead and make a level five intellect or might defend or might uh, in order to try and level see five? if you wake. Yep, level five. Okay. Cruel, cruel. Oh, natural one. Oh, natural one. Uh, luckily, this is a defense. Uh, or it's not really much. Of, it's you're fine. Uh, there, there's going to be no GM intrusion on this one, as it is more you are just very much passed out, popping in and out of consciousness as you are carried through the smoke. Seer, so you head back towards the wreckage to go and find Egg. He's not hard to find. Uh, he's right where you left him. All right. I yeah. Just Seer just kind of strides through the wreckage, just kind of trying to have as much confidence, despite the fact that he's also kind of battered and pretty badly hurt. And he kind of walks straight over to Egg, puts a hand on his shoulder, and instead of a kind of Samuel's kind of like grab and like kind of like a touch, this is more of like a kind of grab and yank. And it's <laughs> they're dead, Egg. You must move now. Uh, Egg is yoinged back, but he just looks at Seer with red eyes and says, Why? Because they are violent people, as are we. Someone has done this. We will find out who. And revenge shall come later. But you cannot do this now. You must find safety. Get up! And move. And Seer's already walking over now to grab Windless as well. Uh, Egg is uh, willfully dragged for uh, a moment. And then he writes himself. I don't think he will say another word. As he just follows you. Yeah, I think Seer will even be so bold as to give a command. He's like, as he's going to walk in, he goes and points over one of the masked men, goes like, grab one of them. We'll find out who sent them. Yeah. In, in an uncharacteristic right. fashion, Egg walks over and just yanks the guy with no sense of whether he's injuring him or not. Just pulls on his arm, probably dislocating the shoulder as he hoists him up and starts dragging him along. You begin to hear the sirens off in the distance. Visibility is incredibly low from just the burning of the plastics and various uh, materials of the ship and the runway and the fuel. You head in the direction of your friends. And I need Samuel, Seer, and uh, Egg to all make... Um, this is going to be a speed roll. If you have stealth trained, you can use stealth. Uh, but essentially, you're just trying to uh, become inconspicuous. Fair enough. Okay. Can I have my anecdote effect to the stealth training for Absolutely. us? Absolutely. All right. So we got some training in stealth, guys. Beauty. What was the difficulty you said? Uh, difficulty for this is four. Everybody is very distracted. All right, I'm going to roll a level of effort and got the training. Very good, got, very good. I guess an Beauty. 
I passed. Good. I passed too. Yay. Sorry. Oh yeah, you gotta add the training, so just add an asset to it. Um all right. Yeah, well, oh. I, I fail, uh, probably because I'm dragging a man behind me. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, it, it's more of a group check in general, but um, okay. it definitely raises some eyebrows as uh, you pull this body uh, with you. Um, so I think you just barks at Stasser by going, what are you looking at? Head down, citizen. <laughs> Yeah, and it works, right? Uh, people people look away. They're like, oh, okay, this is not our business, not our business. All right. And um, you, uh, <laughs> you, you are able to, to make your way out as you see um, very distracted, uh, uniformed security personnel running towards the smoke and the damage and the fire. Where are you heading once you get out of the spaceport? Yes. I think that gas station so we can get cool sunglasses and hats to disguise ourselves. <laughs> of course. Probably yeah. probably the best plan. Yeah, or just uh, back to or back to the back shop. To Cos back to yeah. Cosmos, back to the shop. Just like, you know, safe refuge is the is the number one goal right now. Yeah. Uh, Seer, you look around and realize Windless is not among you um, as you I, all head out of... Did he slip out? So I said I went to go pick him up. Did oh, he you slip did? out of my grasp? Oh, but... you did yeah. go to pick him up. Sorry, I thought you were grabbing yeah. an egg. Nope, yep, he is still very nope. much small and passed out in your arms then. Okay. Uh, as you all kind of like write yourselves uh vesper you are able to uh wake up in a start what? hello where are we what's going on uh, we're in an alley okay. got out of the, uh, we got out of the spaceport my head hurts um right I, everything we're... yeah okay i'm gonna put you down yep yep thank you Oh, Jesus. You're all right, like, Vespa. Who, who were those guys? I don't... I'll be fine. You're heavy. What? What? Well, that Enough heavy? with the banter. We have more important things to focus upon. Okay. Egg has the body of one of our assailants. We'll get back to Cosmos, strip the body for information, examine the armor, examine the identity, see if we can match that, figure out what was behind this. It's very possible that what we just experienced was a blowback against the Crash Clan and had nothing to do with us. But yeah. we must not discount the possibility that this has something to do with ourselves. Okay. Let's go. And, uh... I'm gonna start looking around and just helping... I'm gonna poke my head out of the alley that we're in and just start getting a view of what's going on and yeah Sears very just, very just, purpose driven right now he's just yeah. getting the group moving just yeah if anybody's lagging behind yeah. he's just you know chop 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 yeah all uh, I'm doing is just leading the way keeping an eye out for people definitely seem to be like clamoring around trying to figure out what on earth you know obviously the explosion was heard from not well, the explosion was heard from pretty far away. Uh, and people are seeing the black cloud of smoke rise up out of the spaceport, uh, whispering to each other, wondering what on earth could have happened. Um, people are paying no mind to you um, as you make your way through. Um, would you be heading back to the inn? No, we're going go to go to... Uh... Cosmos. Cosmos? Yeah, just straight back there. Easy enough. It's actually nearby. Um, Cosmos operates near the spaceport, uh, and so you are, without an issue, able to make it to his garage. All right. Uh, I did steal somebody's bike to get to that airfield in time, so I'm just picturing that, like, somebody's just, like, 
sitting at the bar, like wondering when that mean Templar is going to come back with his bike. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. So. Uh, oh, was... oh, yes. Go. No, please. It's in, a... uh, it's in a parking garage now. Yeah, forever. Uh, you've, you've all been to the airport and seen like the abandoned vehicle that is just like covered in dust. All the tires are flat and it just like sits there in the parking spot. Uh, perpetually. <laughs> Beautiful. You'd think somebody would take care of it, but they never do. Uh, <laughs> um, but as you make it to Cosmo's garage um, and head inside, you see Cosmo and Celeste are working on the skiff racer as you come in and they look up at you and they go, the hell happened to you? Uh, the spaceport got attacked. What the hell happened to you? No, nothing happened to us. Um, spaceport got attacked. Did you not hear an explosion? Uh, well, yeah, it could have been a backfire. Listen, we've been busy. Uh, and Cosmo goes over and flips on uh, the television. Where you see surveillance footage of you all from a distance heading towards the ship um, as it explodes. News reporter pipes in and says, It seems the motive is unclear as to why the spaceport was attacked earlier, but it seems to have something to do with the escaped convicts out in the galaxy. They, well, from what we're hearing, there are no signs of life at the ship. We may never know what it is they were up to. And Cosmo looks over to you guys and goes, Seems you're dead. What they were saying? Oh, I thought they were blaming us for it and we're... Oh, they're uh, yeah, they're blaming us. Uh, we're a hundred percent blamed, but also they say. But we they had... think we blew up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not. Don't believe. For very long. Don't believe anything that that is saying. The Empire yeah, will make sure to put out an authorized version of the truth. As far as what happened at the spaceport, I find it most curious that they didn't mention anything about them. And Seer points over towards the guy that Egg's got. He also <laughs> finds a corner of the room and just like just dumps windless into it. <laughs> He's fine. He's, he can see the future, so I'm sure his body's preparing itself perfectly or some sci-fi something. I don't, I don't know if seeing the future gives you a healing factor. I, that doesn't... <laughs> it's got to. Of course it does. Yeah, because your blood knows that <laughs> going out would be bad, so it stays oh, in. Yes, that's true. It sees the future. Wait a second. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I suggest you all lay low and uh, get some disguises. They're gonna know that we're they're they're gonna know we're not dead. They're gonna go search the wreckage, find out, find our bodies, and we're still gonna be considered at large. So, yeah, disguises. Um, fundamentally, little has changed. We're still wanted. Yeah. Now they simply right. believe that we're on Shutter. Which uh, we are. I don't know. Yes. Celeste, you got uh you got some contacts with Planet Security still? Yeah, a couple. Um might be able to call in a few favors. There's a couple organizations that uh well we can make the official reports pretty, uh, official. It's not going to be cheap, though. Well, yeah, whatever it is. I say do it. Give them a call. Put in the word. We, uh, we owe these guys that much. Yeah. And, uh, Celeste heads off, uh, and starts making some communicator calls. Do the skip um, races really mean that much to you? Whoa, 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 honor. It's all about honor. We, uh, our, our pop, he, uh, he used to be kind of a big deal in the scene. And, uh, well, we just, uh, want to uphold that legacy, you know? 
Family legacy means everything. I don't yeah. care. <laughs> she just walks straight past Cosmo. <laughs> just like covered in soot still. And just like str- heads straight over to Egg. Got a looks. What got in his suit's cl- I- catheter? Got a catheter uh, in there? Like that. <laughs> just stops in All front right. of Egg. Looks to him and just. Egg. Egg has been right. sitting on a. Egg has been sitting on a workshop stool the whole time, staring, shifting between staring at the guy on the ground and the wall. Egg says, uh, I suppose you were right then. Most of my brothers did abandon me. Yes. Yes, they have. You should clean yourself up. Change of clothes. Get rid of the damaged bits of armor. It'll clear your head. Egg looks seer in the eyes and says, Why? Because the next step requires us all to walk it. No. Why did you care to save me, seer? In truth? I had half a mind to walk aboard that ship and kill your brothers myself. I wasn't going to. But I did want them to manipulate you. Like as you they manipulate have been. me. I've been unkind to you, Egg, that much is true, but I recognize what the Crash Clan is. They're very similar to how the Templars work. Save that the Crash Clan pretends to be more of a family, while the Templars keep us in line with dogma. But the answer is the same. You and I have both been used as tools. You think I forgot? And just as I would want you to stop me... You think I forgot? What you told me in our cell? You forgot to wipe my memories here. Like you did all those times before. I have been traveling with you. Because I believed in you. But if the Trash Clan has been using me the whole time for the sake of family, then how am I to know you're not exactly the same? I suppose you can't. I suppose there's no guarantee that I can give you. That I'm not secretly manipulating you. Save this. You are the one friend that I've got in this galaxy, Egg. And if you wish for revenge, I'll help you get it. If you want answers, I'll help you get it. But if you want to row yourself away, let the fires that consumed your brothers take you as well, and give it all up for the Crash Clan, then I won't let you do that. Now get yourself changed. I don't want revenge. I just want an end. And Egg gets up and walks out. Vesper, you feel as though you're trying to grab on to the dream that you had. That, um, oh, it's, it's fuzzy. It's foggy. It's hard to recall and then every now and then you get flashes of it the face staring back at you and then just an image in your mind your the mountain the mountain in the desert you can see it there just a single Shell of a volcano, you can guess. Just right there. What are you doing? Have I seen this mountain on the horizon of this town, village, yeah. city thing? Go ahead and make for me an intellect uh, to see if you can kind of match the pieces together. Uh, um... This is going to be a difficulty three. Uh, if you guys make sure to click into the squad cast uh, to focus the app when, whenever you can. Uh, I'm going to use an effort, and I'm going to roll another natural one. You know, it's it's hard to say. Um, you've seen a number of mountains uh, in the distance, especially when you were out in the desert. Um it's going to require a little bit more research and looking into it. Um, but 
you're fairly certain you can you can find it. You just don't know where to start yet. PK, Samuel. The unconscious soldier is slumped against the wall. There are no markings on this person. Um, there are some singe marks, definitely, from the explosion in the flames. Uh, there is definitely a smell of burning human, human hair. Uh, or just hair. I guess all hair kind of smells bad when you burn it. But uh, <laughs> um, what, what, what is going through your mind as you see the scenes unfolding around you? I think I'm probably pretty focused. I would probably be going through that person, uh, through the pockets of this person trying to find information, and I would like to use a cipher that I have All right. called Secret, Ooh. level three. It means I get to ask the GM one question and get a general answer, and uh, my current secret is level three. Oh, right. And it says level one would be pretty much like looking somewhere else other than my current location. Level 10 is gaining knowledge of the future, and level 7 is obscure knowledge of the past, so... I don't know what level 3 info I might find on this guy, but... Absolutely. Okay. I Uh, might like to know who sent them or something. Let's see. Um... Let me pull up my notes. So, what is the secret that you would like? You want to figure out who, where this, uh, where this, this person is from? Yeah, the organization that may have sent them the some sort of lead to follow is mostly just kind of it. Yeah. Um. Um. You do find a, a piece of paper that miraculously is just happens to be uh, in this man's pocket. Uh, seems to be operating orders. Um, the well. organization they are from is interesting. Um, it's not a very common one to to know about or to to hear about. Um, it is another uh, renegade group of rebels. Maybe they are working with the Crash Clan. Or what is left of the Crash Clan aboard Crash Station. Um, they are called uh, the Abyssal Legion. They are a very dangerous organization um, that isn't quite working towards the freedom of the galaxy as um, others would be more of a other side of the coin thing. Well funded. uh, Awful. Alright. Cool. Guy worked for the Abyssal Legion. Grab this little piece of paper. Mm. Does Samuel make that fact kind of apparent to the room? Yeah, yeah. I grab the piece of paper. I uh, I come over with it. Um, At this point... For while you guys were having your deep conversations and all that, Samuel was working on his disguise, and he from the 1982 premiere of Cats, um, <laughs> to try and fit in with the lion in people. So beautiful. I come over, yeah, full like fuzzy suit, hair, um, whiskers painted on my face, and I uh, say hello. Uh, I found this piece of paper in these men's <laughs> pockets. Turn around and just whoop, <laughs> move to this, this stranger by the throat that just kind of Samuel. <laughs> we needed a disguise, so I changed my appearance. He was here, Cosmo. Go. That's really offensive. <laughs> it would be. It'd be so. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, Cat face. Put me down. I'll go change. <laughs> just kind of let go. Go. That's fine. Change in a moment. You said you found out where they came from? Yes, uh, this, uh, yeah. Uh, this guy, he worked for the, uh, Abyssal Legion. It's a real, uh, nasty mercenary group. Operates, uh, off of some stations and such. They do, uh, 
They kind of just steal shit and yeah. blow people. It's it's not the cool kind. Of, I don't know. They're the Templars selfish. have run into them before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So and the troopers, they are they alive? That one, he's a uh, he was breathing. So we'll wake him up in a minute. I can I'll figure out what I can from him. I will be there too. Yeah, you read interrogation or, or something. Yes, well, interrogations are my speciality. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> cool. A little bit. Well, I'll go back there. I'll go change. Um, yeah, I feel a little. I feel a little silly. Silly wearing all this now. Um. <laughs> It's like, uh, all right, we're not feeling the bit. We're not feeling okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'll be back here. I'll, um, that's one use of my disguise kit down, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, so oh. egg, you walked away from the group and head outside. What are you doing? Uh, speaking of unexpected shower scenes egg <laughs> egg is washing himself off like Sears said getting rid of the detritus on himself washing the soot off of his brow it's just that tasteful lathering. man butt shot you know steam yeah wafting about <laughs> lathering everywhere. his rippling muscles his, <laughs> his water droplets roll down the window <laughs> And there too, washing a bunch of makeup off my face in the shower. <laughs> sure, yeah. why not? Samuel, it's a, it's a group says... shower, you know. It's a big shower. Yeah, it's it's the gym, you know. It's a, it's a gym shower. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Samuel yeah. says, "Egg." Hmm. Yeah. What? What was your family before you became Samuel? My family, my family, um, mother and a father and a sister, and we lived on a, lived on a farm, and worked it pretty well. It was, right. it was going good. Right, you've told me all this. Right. Yeah. Um, you had... But, crashes with all your what what was it like being a mm-hmm. being a child being a child um it was I, I don't I I played outside I guess um I once hit my friend with a rock and he cried a lot and his head was bleeding a lot and I had to go run and get help and I felt really bad about it. Um But you weren't instructed I... to do that on purpose. No, we were just we were just kinda of playing and I didn't I was little and I didn't realize hitting my friend in the head with a small rock would be really fucked up. I see. So Um but I mean that there were good times too. I mean I'm just I I'm just saying like I don't know, there's a bunch of stuff that happened as a kid. I found a bunch of berries one time, and that was really fun. I got to eat those. Um, why? I'm sure they why were very I sweet. I am mm-hmm. starting to realize that I will never, and have never, had a family. Only yeah. things to do, and people to tell me to do them. I suppose that's well, just my fate. Do you want to try and do something on your own or make your own decision now? That's the thing, Samuel. I was never taught how to do that. Well, I guess, much like a kid, you gotta do something and see how you feel about it. Yes. And you don't know if it's the right decision or the wrong one, but you do it. You're so, right, says Egg, and he know. he turns off the shower, exits immediately, like just closes the door with no explanation. He steps out into what I assume is their is the room. 
know if <laughs> Samuel's like shouting after him or just like, oh, there he goes. Uh, but yeah, either way, I just, I just not, okay. Egg takes, goes to his bags. He digs around for his demolition tools. Uh, he lays them out one by one, sorts them, puts them back in the enclosed case, setting up specific amounts of powder in certain areas, walks outside in a bathrobe, I guess, <laughs> uh, lays it down <laughs> in the middle of the street, puts it on the ground, turns around and covers his ears, and there's just a <laughs> as the tools destroy themselves. And he walks back inside. Pulling on, putting on a shirt and pants. Cosmo, um, Cosmo comes out. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, now you heard Not it. Not to worry. <laughs> time, you heard that one? It was little right critter. outside my door. <laughs> Do not fear the pothole. It is a sign of change to come. Says, says Egg. Right. Um. Well, if you all need anything, actually, um, I do have something for each of you. Uh, this should help. Um, and uh, he brings out a box and hands each of you a um, a, a little electronic like device. He goes, uh, just clip this on. And uh, hands out uh, a few ID cards to go with them. And uh, he goes, this uh, will alter your appearance, just your face. Who is Marv Gerard? I you to Gerard? walk around a little bit more. That's you, you're Marv Gerard. I'm glad you got my no, name I'm... right. You spelled... Hmm? Oh, I'm just impressed he spelled Sikowski correctly. <laughs> Tough one. I'm ah, just yes. glad that we're not going to have to, like, face in Jornness and dye our hair and... Yeah. Well, Should I continue wearing the this. bath cloth? Peace. You should probably wear more than that, uh, Egg. <laughs> Sorry, I am going through some changes right now. Trying to understand... Who I truly am. That's good. You still wear clothes, Egg. I appreciate that you might feel being freed in some ways is helpful, but let's 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 keep the clothes on. I do feel free. Keep A light the freedom to accept between my legs. Okay. Well, you can wear a skirt or a kilt. True. Yeah. Yes. Says Egg, nodding as he just walks off back to the room. So, Cosmo. Yeah, what's up? Uh, the race. When do we... When is it? Uh, you still got two days. Uh, if you, uh, have anything you want to take care of. Oh, I want to... I want to leave? Uh... I can't think of anything that I need to do. Uh, I'll go... I'll go out to the... I'll go just... Walk the race grounds, I guess. See if I can see anything else. Again, yeah. Did it once, but can't hurt to familiarize myself again. Absolutely. Uh, Vesper, what are you wanting to do? As Samuel says he really wants to leave this planet, you feel some unfinished business here. Um... Cosmos, does this godforsaken planet have, like, a library? Yeah, of course. What kind of planet doesn't... What kind of city doesn't have a library? Well, I can tell you what kind of prison doesn't have a library. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. That's, uh, that's rough. Yeah, there's a library, uh, just, uh, right downtown. Right. Um, I would like to do some research, then. All right. Uh, heading by yourself? If anybody wants to join me, they are more than welcome to. I won't stop them, but otherwise, I, I would just go. I think right. Sarah, this whole time, he wasn't around to witness Egg's uh, a grand declaration or the idea disguise thing. I think he's with the prisoner. 
right now. Yeah. Uh, prisoner seems to be pretty, pretty deeply out cold. Um, he's uh, luckily, you know, all his wounds are pretty cauterized from the uh, flaming debris. But uh, kind of in a coma state. What would you like to do? I think Sears just kind of maybe he doesn't admit this to himself, but he kind of relishes the fact that the guy's out cold because it gives him an opportunity to rest. But again, he would never admit that he's happy to rest. He's just <laughs> like, I'm watching the prisoner. If the prisoner's yeah. not moving, then I will sit here. And if I close my eyes a little bit, then that's just because I'm gathering strength. Of course. Uh, so we'll go with, uh, with Vesper. Vesper, you head downtown to the library. It's a library. It's, you've, you're very comfortable in these settings. Um, it's, you know, big pillars, you know, to signify how knowledgeable they are with, you know, carving in the stone. Uh, very uppity librarians just shushing people as they walk in you know you gotta gotta prepare people to just be... like home yeah just like home uh how would um, you like to proceed so knowing the empire does tend to suppress any information about the past that contradicts the history narrative that the empire kind of drives both in schools and even outside of all of that um I feel like I would still know that on occasion you can find some sort of glimpse of something that is contradictory. Um, whether yeah. it's a passage that hasn't been fully edited or, you know, something along those lines. Uh, so I'd like to look into the history of this planet. Absolutely. Let's see what we got for you. Um, yeah, so this is going to be an intellect roll. Uh, oh, I will say that by this point, you have all had a, um, uh, whichever of the rests you would like to have taken. So action, yeah. 10 minutes, hour, all of that stuff. Um, you oh, haven't quite just... gotten to the 10 hour yet, but I mean, you know, you're, it's been, uh, it's been at least five hours since the explosion. So you are trying to uncover information that is meant to be covered um and maybe there's an accident go ahead and make an intellect roll this is going to be a difficulty four to try and you're in a, a place of research you're you're in your environment um let's yeah okay i will use an asset for this and i got oh, a 19 oh yeah, it's not another natural one, so you know. Oh, I was so stressed. <laughs> yeah, uh, you kind of like flip through um, various uh, archival pieces of information. You know, check out some geography, check out some of the history of this planet. Um, at one point, this planet was um, heavily under the rule of the Empire much more so than it is now. Now they're a little bit more um, able to kind of take care of themselves while still being within the Empire's grasp. Um, one of the reasons they were so heavily under the Empire's grasp back then was the rumor of an artifact. Um, a prospector, somebody looking for uh, valuable minerals and materials out in the deserts of Chuta found something and claimed it to have given him revelations of alien beings or angelic beings or demonic beings. It's hard to tell because um, most of the information is kind of scattered. Uh, and it seems to be a game of uh, space telephone, um, you know, where it's the one person heard this way, one person heard it that way. But one thing is clear. No one heard from the prospector ever again. 
It seems to be one of those situations where um, the Empire got wind of it, and he, well, was no longer around. What you are able to piece together, because you did uh, get a minor crit there, is that he happened to have been around Shadow Crag, uh, a large and... Um, I keep wanting to say stationary, but every mountain is stationary. Solo. Uh, <laughs> that we know of. That, that we know we of. Know of. <laughs> uh, stationary is not the word. Solo, lone mountain uh, out in the desert. It is a former volcano uh, that is long dormant. Um, and it's called Shadow Crag because uh, it is, it's, it's very tall and cast quite a large shadow over a canyon. Um, if I were to find a computer kind of tucked away, like away from prying eyes, um, and I sat down. And That's always sketchy used... to do at a public library. Oh, yeah, you're going weird looking for the porn on the library. <laughs> um, I would like if possible, to use my data jack ability mm -hmm. to kind of hack into some sort of empire mainframe to tell me whether or not they found this artifact and or um, if they killed or got rid of this prospector. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be a difficulty... Uh, five. However, you are trained in hacking, and of course, you have data jack, uh, which means that you can um, get an asset on it. So that is going to make things uh, a bit easier for you in this matter. It's a difficulty five, right? Yep, difficulty five, and then of course, make sure you click your hacking asset. skill, and yep, then add an skill. asset. Um, I'm also going to use an edge as well. All right. Or an effort, sorry. Yep. Very good. Yeah. With well, ease. Um, it's nine. You, you are able to figure this out uh, pr pr pretty quickly. Um, was the prospector killed? No. Um, he was taken to the Eye of the Tyrant. Um... <laughs> Did they find the item? Yes. Uh, were they able to determine anything from the item? No. Um, it was a small electronic piece of some sort. Um, this this item was... It seems that whatever use it had... Um, the pro used it and it no longer worked. Um, the Empire was not it was able. A cipher. It was a cipher. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and and such. Uh, it it became useless and they weren't able to trace back its origin. They did send a team out to the mountain. Uh, he said he was near the mountain uh, when he found it. They did not find anything else. Uh, for a while, it was labeled as, like, an off-limits, like, zone until eventually they decided that it was not of consequence uh, and that uh, there was nothing else to be found there. So it's no longer off-limits. It is no longer off-limits. Um, right. I s suppose... Once I've kind of concluded my research, I'll make sure to scrub the computer so that nobody sees that I was doing bad things <laughs> and, and um, yeah. <laughs> head back to the group. Of course. At, back at Cosmo's Garage, uh, eventually Windless does wake uh, from his coma, uh, looks around, and, uh, oh, yes. He starts counting on, people. Windless. We got Samuel. We got Egg. Seer. Oh no. Did Vesper die? Did we yeah. lose Vesper? She didn't make it, man. 
Oh. She, uh... Oh, no. Piece of shrapnel. Cut her fake arm off. And... Oh. It was too much trauma on one side of her body, and she went into shock and died. Oh. Um... I should have been so, quicker. Yeah. I... Anyway, we gotta go. Um, I'm gonna go check out the racetrack. You wanna come with me? That's terrible! Uh, I didn't hear about this, says Egg. <laughs> oh my god! Well, this time I was You want me to go check Odie. out a racetrack? In my She's fine. She's at the library right now. Oh, you're an asshole. Ah. Okay, good. Um, what? You're supposed to know the future. How did you not know that I was... You don't see every waking moment of it all the time. Uh, yes, we can go see the racetrack. Absolutely. All right, come on, let's let's go. Of course. Um, it's. Wait a second. Something's yep. different about you. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. This uh. This disguise. What does your yeah. disguise look like, by the way? Uh, I'm allowing you you all to uh, to choose what your holograms and IDs uh, ended up uh, looking like. So what, what, what did yours look like, Samuel? I think my, my, fake, my fake little hologram disguise ends up looking like a... Uh, a lot like... Um, what's his name? Gosh darn it. Colin Farrell? from the movie Phone Booth um, <laughs> from back in the day. Like in that movie. <laughs> now I have to look. Uh, it's been yeah, a really yeah. long time. I, 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 so I, he's kind of like, he's got longer, shaggier hair that's all black. He's <laughs> yes. kind of got like a, a five o'clock shadow, the goatee, yep. and just the Playboy kind of suit. I'll go with you to the racetrack with you. Um, the phone Booth. Uh, <laughs> I'll go to the Colin Farrell We're all you. broken. <laughs> no. Um... So, um, what are you hoping to find while we're there? Oh, I'm just trying to get a, a, a view of the lay of the land, you know? It's good to know the turns, the ins and outs, the stuff like that, you know? See where I gotta look out for, obstacles in the way, moments where I may be able to pass someone, and if I know that that's coming up, I can prepare for it, and so on and so forth. All right. I could help with that. Maybe I'll get a vision of something and, yeah, and see us all die. I... We'll see you all die in a fiery crash. Hopefully not. That's what I was thinking. That would be pretty awful. But... Mm. All right. Well, uh, let's uh, let's head off then. All right. Um, you... It doesn't take long to get to the track either. Um, and... You see that there are a few people kind of doing a similar thing, checking out the the various uh, turns. They're all looking around, you know. You're not the only one who's had this idea, especially so close to the race at this point. Uh, you see a couple of people kind of look over and they just whisper to each other and walk away like they're closely guarding a secret. Um... Go ahead and make a uh, race roll, or you know, the the roll you make for being good at racing. Okay, and I'll do a. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the piloting roll then. Do, do, All do, right. Do, do, do. Piloting spacecraft just to get a view. Um, who said it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just let the dice tell me what happens, and I'm gonna get a natural twenty. No right. <laughs> Natural 20, uh, much better than uh, the natural one that you got last time, I'm pretty sure, uh, while you were trying to inspect this track. Uh, yeah, you you notice a lot uh, about this track. Uh, you kind of, you know, walk along it, you know, checking it out. Um, find some spots that look like there might be some hidden traps underneath the ground. Uh, some Some, like surprise like turns yeah. you you feel like you've got a great handle on this this track um i'm gonna say that you're going to uh one take an experience point and give it to someone else 
Yeah, I gave it to me. I think I'm going to give the other one on over to Egg, because he's just been having a little tough day of it. All right. And I want to I want to help him find himself, find his new the new version of him. Absolutely. Yeah. So you you take on Egg, um, or give give one to Egg. Uh, you are also going to because you got a natural twenty. Um, mark this down, in your in your <laughs> notes. But you're Marking going down to notes. you're going to get a yeah right. <laughs> uh, for when the actual skip race happens, uh, you're going to get an asset on every roll, um, for free. So Wait. whatever the base level of the race is going to be, uh, it's just going to operate Number as one, one lower uh, for you uh, because you are going to be able to use uh, some of the foreknowledge that you have to your advantage. What is that foreknowledge? We'll find out. Uh, we'll find when, out. That's what I want. When we do the race. Uh, but exactly what I wanted. For now, Seer, the guard begins to... Or not the guard, the uh, assassin, the mercenary, begins to stir a bit. Get up from my seat and go and loom over them. I've got the mercenary kind of restrained. I've, I've kind of commandeered, uh, I imagine, sort of like a, a closet of Cosmo's garage. And I've got the guy kind of strapped to a chair. So I just kind of stand up and loom over them. He looks up at you and he goes, Shit. What do you want? The ship. It exploded before our eyes. Did you and your people plant the bomb? What do you think? Of course we did. So why come and shoot up the place? Make it a spectacle. Had to make it look like just a natural terrorist event. Really fortunate that you guys showed up. Is it? I feel as if we've done little to distract from the fact that your people were found on the scene. I'm sure the Empire has already taken note of the fact that the Abyssal Legion was involved in this. For what this has accomplished, I haven't the foggiest. All you've managed to do is kill two members of the Crash Clan. That was the goal. Plus, we took precautions. Empire will never know that the Abyssal Legion was there. We literally found a piece of paper on your person that had your operating orders very sloppy. I don't think you're as smart as you think you are. I don't make the plans. Clearly. Our mission was accomplished. We did what we were hired to do. So that's it. This contract was given by your superiors or someone else? By our superiors. What do you know of the Crash Clan schism? Not a whole lot. I don't really care. I... I know that, uh... Those who are in charge of Crash Station now... Paid us... And, uh, we did our job. We knew there was a good chance we weren't going to make it out. It's fine. The Crash Clan station. Uh, whoever's in charge of the Crash Clan now was the one that originally commissioned you for this job. Yeah. They're cleaning up loose ends. A buddy of yours. I think he might be a loose end as well. Yes. He is. I imagine this won't be the last attempt on his life. Probably not. Thank you for your information. You've been most helpful. Happy to help. And I just cut him off halfway through. I flick my hand and just snap his neck with the, my brain powers. He dies. Uh... We smash cut to just see her dumping the body in the trash can outside. Uh. <laughs> rolled up rug <laughs> bunch of oily rags underneath his corpse it's a shag carpet from uh from a space bus uh <laughs> well that's what we're that's what we're re that's what we're working on to get to get ready for the race is an old vw bus skiff <laughs> <laughs> tore out the shag carpeting from it amazing uh absolutely for sure 
Um, well, as you all, well, what are all of you doing is, is a good question. So, Vesper, you're heading back to Cosmos. Uh, yes. Seer, you're disposing of the body. Uh, Samuel, you and Winless have gotten some great intel on the race ahead of you. Egg, what are you doing? What? Uh, Egg is uh, trying to... He's he's in the mirror and he's looking at this holographic disguise he has on. A long white beard. Tries to stroke it, but his hand just goes through. I could be anyone. He says. Yeah. Otherwise, he's just waiting. I think Seer walks into the room at this point and... Just like, yeah. You know, bested hands off after the business kind of walks in. You should keep the beard. I think it does enough to distract from your remarkable features. Is there any way for that to make you look shorter? Your height is a dead giveaway. I can try slouching, says A. Yes. The Abyssal Legion will most likely... Who? Be sending more assassins in the future. Abyssal Legion? Uh, I see. Abyssal Legion, yes. They were the ones that killed your brothers. Do they like being in the ocean? I have no <laughs> earthly clue whether or not they like being in the ocean. Or, let's say that. Then why do they call themselves the they will uh, keep Abyssals? Coming. I see. They Did will they keep coming for you. explain why they created the explosion? Seer so just kind of folds his arms, kind of leans back against the wall. That depends. What will you do with the information? Egg uh, glances off for a moment and says, Make sure it does not happen again. Starting with myself. I destroyed my demolition kit earlier. My last demolition. A squandering of resources, perhaps, but I understand the importance of the ceremony. Did Is that what I am to you? Cleanse your mind. Resources? No. But we are in this together. Demolition kit could have been handy, but far be it from me to interrupt with your ceremony. If this is what you needed in order to right yourself, then it's what needed to happen. The Abyssal Legion was contracted to do this because they hate the Crash Clan, but their original source of info came from the current leader aboard Crash Station. Someone is plucking at weeds. Let him pluck, then, says Egg. I am done with the Crash Clan. I'm done with explosions. Done with revolution. You're done. Seer, do you plan on being a Templar forever? I am not being a Templar. I am a Templar. I see. I am Until nothing without this. Yes. But why, then? Alpha Crash always used to tell us that at the end of the revolution awaited a Nirvana. And although... Revolution was an ongoing process. Someday, maybe not us, but our children, or our children's children, would feel the grace of the change. So, what is I'm your working. end? I have no end. The galaxy receives the fruits of my labor. I work to cleanse it, to keep balance and order. Others get to enjoy what I have wrought. And so I continue serving the galaxy, serving our species, until at last this flimsy body of mine gives way and Seer will pass to another. Egg sits down on uh, the lower bunk of the bunk bed and slumps his head and just says, I have no end either. Exactly. I'm afraid that... Explosions and revolution may not be done with you, Egg, even if you were done with it. No. So you're kind of squats down next make... to Egg. 
I will not make another explosion. Vesper, then what it's around do? this time that you oh. make your way back to Cosmos, uh, see a rolled up rug in the trash um, as you <laughs> head inside. Uh, same for you, PK, unless there's other things that you would like to handle while you're out and about. Who's PK? No, I think I'd. Or sorry, Samuel. <laughs> How dare you? I think I I'd. Uh, I think I'd see that. I think I'd walk in the door at the moment. Egg says he'll never make another uh, explosion again. And I just kind of uh, look at him and just say, uh, "What do you think you're gonna do instead?" It's just, you and Sear say that at the exact same time. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, it just kind of like. <laughs> there are explosions. What the fuck? I hear fireworks are quite nice. I am less upset, maybe, than Sear is. I'm just more curious. Yeah. I am going to eat chocolate and raise cacti and make eggs for breakfast. Nice. I can get behind that. It is when not the, nice. When, that well, when stand. The, <laughs> when, when the when the uh, guards come for us, um, what do you think you're going to do then? When the uh, when the empire comes to uh, kill us, you think uh, can hit him in the head of the face with the eggs? Think they'll be allergic to chocolate? I don't know. Says Egg. All right. Well, it's just something to consider. I don't. I'm not trying to. Uh, I'm I'm happy if you're not wanting to make any more bombs or anything, but I also appreciate your help when the stuff gets troublesome. I'm tired of yes, being a convicted despair terrorist. This life. I think I'm ready to just be a convict. <laughs> Says A. Good. It's a good life being a convict. You know, Egg, they're different. Like, not dangerous explosions that you can always try and I pull out a little tiny packet that I picked up from the store and pass him a bag of popping candy. What is this? Put it in your mouth. He puts the unwrapped the still wrapped bag in his mouth. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, oh dear. (laughs) Open it, my dear. Uh, Open it and there's little candies inside. Just pop, 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 all in his mouth. This sensation, small bursts in my mouth, like the glinting life that we all share. I see, says Egg. As he looks up, but like a single teardrop rolls down his cheek. I'll think about it. Egg, I think it's important for you to do what makes you happy and brings you joy. If you don't think that building bombs and being a terrorist, which I don't necessarily condone, brings you joy anymore, there are other things that maybe you can find. Seer just cast like a withering look over from (laughs) Vesper to, to Omega to Samuel and finally just says, What do you all think this is? You seem to act as if we are deciding upon a stage in our career, as if we are taking a second to reflect on our life choices and ponder for ourselves what we'd like to do with our twilight years. We have no choice in this matter. I think we always have a choice, Seer. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Seer, Seer, come here, come here, Seer. Seer, come here. I, 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 I take you for a little sidebar, a little side, and I just go... I think, um, I think Egg's kind of having a trauma response at the moment, and I think we just be patient and not push him, and let him get through this, and in a day or two, he'll kind of come out, become himself again. Maybe he might decide to not make any bombs, but I don't think he's gonna... I think we'll be okay. I think we're still gonna end up with... You know, it's just, it's, you give him some time to heal a little bit. He'll be okay. Fine. I'm not used to shepherding people. Yeah, he's a... Well, he's an egg. This is this, like, just very, like, contemptuous rattle that comes from Seer. 
as just the the um, suit of armor just kind of like just sits there for a second. You get the sense of you know his his breath, and then finally just stomps away. <laughs> While this is going dark, on, I just off cloud. sit next to Egg and take some of the candy, like put it in my mouth and just hold it open. Hold, you know, when you hold your mouth open with the popping candy and it just, oh, you yeah. can hear it popping. I go, look, look, Egg. Look at this. And he makes different mouth shapes so it makes different noises as it pops. There you go. Uh, um... What, uh, I, I know you have this race and all that. Um, is there anything anybody else needs to get done before we do that and leave Chuta behind us? Um, yes, actually. Um, there's a, there's a, there's a historical site here that I wouldn't mind exploring while we're here, if that's okay. A his- historical site. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not really talked about. It's completely legal. It's not like it's off limits or anything. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, go on the history tour of Chuta. We can. We got. Do we got time tomorrow? Uh, Cosmo, you need me here for anything? No, I'm good. Uh, Alright, if you don't need me to fix up the ship, I can come with you on your little tour. What about this um, dust bowl? It's a... It's a mountain called Shadow Crag. Exciting. Um, it's by itself. Cosmo, do you know where this mountain is? I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I found that in my... Sh- Shadow research. Crag. Yeah, yeah, it's, um... About... Hour south of here. And he just kind of, like, points to the south, where there's just a single lone mountain. Uh, oh, that thing. And, and Vesper, you go, that's why it looks familiar. It's, it's... <laughs> right, that's there. Mm, damn it. Okay, cool. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Well, that's, that's Shadow Crag. That's, okay. that's useful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, not, not a lot out yeah, there. Yeah, so, like, a but, little I mean, field trip. I got things handled here, so... You, Would you happen uh, to have, like, a vehicle we could potentially borrow so that we could just drive there? Yeah, we don't want to get assume. caught for stealing any more scooters. The last one I gave you didn't return. This one will return? Yeah, it's it's close enough that you can take, uh, take a speed speeder. It's not a problem. Go round back. Unlimited? No. He's got an unlimited number of cars behind his shelf. <laughs> Not unlimited. <laughs> this what, one's Sam mine. Is, <laughs> Sam is gonna Sam is gonna do the race for you and earn you lots of money and and you know it'll be great. So you know just yeah, we'll take a l- right. take a little group field trip if everybody wants to go. Yeah, found a uh, found a few little cool things out there on the track today. So I think we're pretty pretty set. Feeling pretty good. Oh, well, um, day trip out to the desert, I guess. Bring lots of water. We can get some more candy for egg. Are are we expecting, like, we're not expecting trouble out there. Why would we be? Well, now I am. It's just an, look, it's just, it's just an archaeological site that I had some interest in, and... I think after the shock wore off, I realized, oh, this is the planet with that site. And um, so just, I, I thought, you know, if I'm here, I may as well investigate it. And it's not like I'm going to drop all my hobbies because I'm suddenly a criminal. That's fair. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, what's the worst that can happen? And that's where mm. we're going to end for today's session. What's uh, the what's the word? <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, <laughs> so Everything. yeah, um, we like I said, you one shots tavern dot com. Uh, check out the links below. You can hire us to run games for you. Uh, you can pick up some TTRPG themed merch. Um, 
but uh, have a wonderful week. This is the last week that you will be seeing me in this basement setup. Whoa. As of yeah. Friday, we will begin moving in, and as of Sunday, I should have my office all set up and ready to go for grand adventures in the TTRPG space. Thank you all for listening. Please check out our Patreon and uh, see you next week.